Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here and today I'm going to be talking about the new creative class system for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I have a couple theories on what it will be like. Let me know in the comment section down below which one do you think is the best or if you have your own idea how the creative class system will be like, please let me know in the comment section as well. But first off, I want to talk about the gameplay really fast. I do go 24 and 4. I'm using the SC2010. I uh, play on them at Prison Break and I do get a heal pilot this game. I'm not sure if I joined the game late. All I know is that my team is really bad and I do my best to try to win but we don't so uh yeah i do get pretty decent gameplay I do get a pretty decent amount of kills and i get a healer pilot so uh i did my part i just my teammate couldn't my teammates couldn't follow through on the game but uh it is what it is hope you guys do enjoy that in the background so let's go ahead and get started my first theory that i have for you guys is that each exoskeleton suit are gonna have their own perks already equipped to it for example if you're gonna be an agility exoskeleton suit then you're gonna be able to run faster you're gonna be able to have the perks marathon on light weight that will make you run faster that's just what i think that's what a lot of commentators are thinking as well that's going to be the new perk system me personally i don't like that at all it just destroys the customization that call of duty is supposed to bring to their game and i don't like that at all a lot of commentators don't like it either i hope that's not going to be advanced warfare but that is one theory that's been going around and that's what a lot of people are thinking so uh who knows we're just gonna have to wait till the multiplayer to be able to see to be able to uh fully confirm if that is true uh, another thing is that a sledgehammer might go back to the original pick three system like they did in black ops one and modern warfare two if you guys haven't played any of those then you're able to choose three perks from three tiers um yeah i, I know one of them is uh, be able to run faster like that's one tier another tier is stealth and another tier is that you're able to just go on gun action like stopping power was a perk in that um uh, I know that stopping power is not going to be advanced warfare. They did confirm that in a couple of interviews, so that is pretty good. Uh, I'd rather have the pick three system because it's simple and you're just better overall. It's more equal uh, to the gun battles, I think. Another thing is that they might go back to the pick 10 system like they do have in Call of Duty Ghost where you're able to pick 10 perks if you want to or you can get rid of attachments on your gun and you're able to choose more perks. Uh, that idea, I like that idea a lot actually because it's more customization to your character. It's more customization to Call of Duty and that's what a lot of people were looking for in Call of Duty Ghost. Just the customization of your character and your play style. I, I do like that, that a lot. Uh, if any of those two would be in Advanced Warfare, I really would like that a lot. But if they were to add the whole exoskeleton suit and the perks already equipped to it, I wouldn't like that at all. Uh, if you guys don't know, then the, they might actually be adding a Titans like they have in Titanfall. But it's going to be like some exoskeleton juggernaut. I don't really know the name. It hasn't been confirmed. But that is definitely probably going to be a kill streak in Advanced Warfare. Uh, you're going to be able to get into that mech suit. And you're going to be able to just gun people down with your death machine claw that you have. That looks really badass, I think. If you guys play Titanfall, you know getting inside a Titan is really fucking fun, man. I know that I the first time that I played Titanfall at my friend's house, I did like that a lot. So uh, they're probably going to add that in the game. And, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. A lot of people have been just, they're kind of torn between Advanced Warfare. Some people like it. Some people hate it. Uh, I, I, me personally, I honestly do think it's going to be a good game. Um, but we haven't really gotten any multiplayer reveals or anything like that yet. We're all just anxiously waiting to be able to get more information. Like, I don't know if you all feel the same way, but I'm literally at the edge of my seat checking my phone for tweets for Advanced Warfare News every single day, probably like every single hour. I'm just waiting to get new information because I, I really want I really want this game to be successful. I really do. Uh, it just the whole Call of Duty community has fallen apart. Not that many people upload it anymore. Not that many Many people want to watch Call of Duty content anymore, and it's just sad how how the companies they just just screwed over Call of Duty. They destroyed the name Call of Duty. They they just oh my, it's just so bad how Call of Duty has gotten to now. I just wish that they would make a reamped version of COD 4 and Modern Warfare 2. Infinity Ward and uh, Treyarch does not understand how much money they can make if they were to be do if were, they were to make a reamped version of those two games, because those two were probably the most successful games in Call of Duty history, and a lot of people do agree with that. 
Uh, a lot of people do think that they are the best Call of Duty, and they would make so much money. I mean, I'd rather have a Call of Duty that was that was been released four years ago than be able to play uh, a, a current Call of Duty. Because just face it, like Call of Duty is not fun anymore to me. A lot of people say it's not fun at all either. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. What do y'all think is gonna be the new creative class system and the perk system? Please leave a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more advanced warfare news, guys, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.